Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, talking about daylight savings time and what it does to our clocks, particularly the sacred clock. Now, you're watching this video, you know that daylight savings time is about to change or has just changed. But in this video, we want to look at specifically the effect that it has on our clock and makes it difficult to understand where the idea of keeping time comes from. But we'll come back to that at the end of the video. Right now we're over here at timeanddate.com and we're looking at the rise and set times of the sun. But notice how this graph over here is disjointed. When you're looking at a place like Phoenix, Arizona that doesn't have a daylight saving time, you notice that the flow of the sunset time is continuous. But for the rest of us, it has this break in it. But I wanted to show you something that you may not have noticed before. And that's how this break occurs right before sunset and sunrise time hits 6 p.m. or 1800 hours. You see how we start up here at January and the daylight hours start there at about 7 a.m. You notice that sunset time starts right there at about 5 p.m. and starts increasing until we get around February where it's about 530. And then as we approach a March, it starts getting close to 6 p.m. Even right there till about March the 10th or even March the 12th. And then all of a sudden it jumps from 558 to 658. This break that we see is the daylight savings time when they have shifted the time by an hour. So right here at March the 14th, where our clocks have been changed to 659, is actually supposed to be 559. And then right there at March the 16th, it's supposed to be 6 p.m. But it's been changed by an hour to say 7 p.m. So right there on March the 16th, our clocks is supposed to say 6 p.m. for sunset. But it says 7 p.m. And when we come forward, we also see 7 p.m. on September the 13th, which means that once again, standard time would be 6 p.m. for the sunset. But the clock has changed by an hour saying 7 p.m. for the sunset. And this artificial time is continued all the way through to about November the 4th, when the clock says 6 p.m. for a sunset. But remember, that is daylight saving time. So that would be an hour off. But then notice how right at that time, it's changed back to standard time there on November the 6th. So what this is doing is taking the 6 p.m. standard time sunset off of the clock altogether. Whether on purpose or on accident, somehow the 6 p.m. sunset has been manipulated out of our clocks and it doesn't show them to us. Well, let me show you why that's important. We're over here and we're looking at the book called First Enoch or Enoch the prophet. This is the only scriptural text that tells us how the celestials work as far as keeping time. Now, of course, we learned in the book of Genesis, even in the very first chapter, that the sun, the moon and the stars are supposed to be our calendar and how we keep track of time. Well, this book, First Enoch, was actually written before the book of Genesis, and it tells us how it all works. For instance, how we're down here in chapter 71, which is the book of the revolutions of the luminaries of heaven. Down here in verse 42, it tells us that the last day of the year is when the days and the nights are equal. When we have equal parts and equal nights. Notice how it's given in nine parts there for the day and nine parts for the night. Looking at a clock, this would mean that we would have six o'clock for sunrise and six o'clock for sunset. Twelve hours for the day and twelve hours for the night. But by adding daylight savings time, we really can't see this. 
never do we see a time when we have a 6 p.m. sunrise and a 6 p.m. sunset. So by adding this discontinuity in our clocks, we have delegitimized the book of Enoch and its description of how our clocks are supposed to work. In other words, one reading the book of Enoch and looking at the way the clocks are could say that the book and the text was actually inaccurate when it comes to the clocks because we don't have a 6 p.m. sunrise and a 6 p.m. sunset on the day when the nights and the days are supposed to be equal. So it's like they've taken the divinity out of the clock, hidden the fact that our clocks are divinely inspired. Let me show you what I mean. Now you may have seen this video included in a bigger production that we put out so many months ago. What this is showing us is what our clocks would look like if we only looked at them on sunset every day. Well, this is the clock he would see each day throughout the year. The sunsets would change in this manner, where in the summertime, the sunset would be at about 656. In the fall, it would be about 550. In the wintertime, sunsets would be at 548. And then in the springtime, when the days and nights are equal, the time would be exactly 6 p.m. for the sunset. So by manipulating the clock, adding daylight savings time to it, no one would ever even recognize this. It's actually been hidden from us, making it even more difficult to understand that the celestial clock works just like our analog clocks on the wall. In fact, all we have to do is put two clocks together. Understanding the principles given in the book of Enoch, we can actually create a celestial clock calendar that will mimic the sun, the moon, and the stars. But again, this is a divinely inspired clock. You can make one yourself, or you can check us out at coachingthefight.shop and order one and we'll make one for you. But the reason that I believe they're hiding the celestial clock from us is to promote the calendar given by Pope Gregorius the 13th. You've heard of the Gregorian calendar? The calendar you probably have on your wall right now was ordained by Pope Gregorius back in about 1582. But like we talked about in our last video on the mark of the beast, Turns out this Pope Gregory, or Pope Gregorius, as is written in Latin, when calculated using the numbers assigned to the Hebrew letters, turns out to be 666. So in other words, this Pope Gregory is the man talked about in the book of Revelation, whose name equals 666, and his calendar is his attempt to put his mark on humanity. In other words... Our governments and anybody else involved is trying to hide the sacred calendar from us so that we can use the beast calendar and end up with the mark of the beast. But we've covered that in the other video. I'll give you a link here so you can check that out. But in the meantime, go ahead and hit the like button on this video and leave me a comment if you will. I'd like to hear what you have to say about it. I'd also be interested to know if you think that making daylight saving time permanent is a good idea. Only thing about that, your sunsets would be 7 to 7 on the days when the nights and the days are equal. Either way, see you in the comments section.